Welcome to the Vigorous q and I'm Coach Steve, here to answer all your bodybuilding related questions. Today's question is from Rocky Hipner. Hi Steve, what are your thoughts stacking test, Decatrin, and Anadrol together? <laughs> uh, I think my laughter says it all. Um, stacking test, Decatrin, and Anadrol together while using proper AI and support supplements. Uh, it's like an anti-libido stack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over it. Test converts to estrogen. So you're using proper AI to prevent testosterone from converting into estrogen, but nandrolone is going to promote more estrogen conversion of the testosterone and might increase prolactin because it's a progestogenic steroid. Yeah? Same as trembolone, it's a progestogenic steroid. The golden rule of not putting Deca and Trent together. I mean, it's, it's not really a golden rule, it's just a forum rule. And you can do it, but you gotta have things in place to prevent the prolactin heaven that you're um, inducing within your body. And then you got anadrol on top, so now you got potentially high estrogen, potentially high prolactin, and a compound that could attach to the estrogen receptor directly, <laughs> and potentiate effects that way. So, um, you're basically inducing DECA and trend Plus, uh, enough conversion and uh, a scenario where gynecomastia um, is going to happen overnight. You know, you're, one day you wake up and you, you know, you're like on your fifth injection and everything is going well, you're strong and you're raging in the gym, you're getting, uh, you know, a lot of compliments and then the next day you woke up with full-blown gyno and the dick don't work. <laughs> so, so, when you say proper AI, um, I hope you know what proper AI means uh, and support supplements. So, first thing you have to keep in mind is don't or make sure that you get enough vitamin B6, yeah, the P5P variety, because that helps to suppress prolactin. Yeah, you don't need to resolve the cabergoline right away. As long as your vitamin B6 intake is sufficient, yeah, 200, 300 milligrams of vitamin B6, P5, P, you might be able to prevent prolactin from increasing. Now, if you're vitamin B6 deficient, prolactin will increase significantly for sure. Yeah. So, that's golden rule number one. Yeah? Make sure your vitamin B6 intake is more than sufficient to prevent prolactin from going up. Second, check your estrogen before you start the cycle, during the cycle, twice <laughs> every time you increase the dose and make sure your aromacin or arimidex or letrozole even is sufficient yeah because estrogen is going to go up and every time you increase the dose or add a compound or change your protocol estrogen levels are going to change and you don't want it to change it too fast where again you wake up with full-blown gyno or it don't work yeah? check it frequently if you got money for all this gear i'm sure you have money for blood work and then anadrol, you can add when your prolactin is under control and your estrogen is under control. Yeah, when you get those two under control, you can add anadrol. If you don't do blood work and you're just throwing in the cocktail of cabergoline and, uh, and aromatized inhibitors, and then you throw in the anadrol, again, gynecomastia overnight. Yeah, and you're like, oh, what happened? You were careless. That's what happened, and it resulted in gynecomastia. So, you might want to keep some Novodex on hand, just in case. You know, some people only run Anadrol with Novodex because Novodex affinity for the estrogen receptor in the breast tissue is a little bit higher than Anadrol. Eh? So Anadrol is still gonna walk into the androgen receptor and uh, potentiates its effect uh, that way. And then when it gets to the estrogen receptor, Novodex is like, not today, bro. You keep on walking to the androgen receptor. Yeah? So that's how you block it potentially in the breast tissue and prevent gynecomastia from happening. Again, if your estrogen and prolactin levels are in range, a little bit of anadrol should be okay. And when I say a little bit, it's 25 milligrams, half a tab, not a whole tab. Yeah? When you're already on DECA and TREN, half a tab of anadrol is more than enough. Yeah? So even if you run a low dose cycle, let's say a 250 test, 100 DECA, and... Um, 150 milligrams of trembolone acetate per week. Yeah, so that's 250 tests, 300 milligrams with uh, 350 with DECA on top, and then 500 milligrams of 
hormones combined with a pretty high uh, androgenic ratio rating, adding 25 milligrams of anadrol on top is probably enough. And if that's not enough, you're not training hard enough, <laughs> or you're paying attention to your nutrition enough. Um, let me have a look at your picture. You look pretty androgenic. Yeah, I don't think you need that much. 250 tests, 100 deca, 150 milligrams of trembolone. You might want to add a little bit of masterone on the top. You know, you're already abusing yourself, so might as well. 100 milligrams of masterone. Yeah, maybe 200 or 150 max of trembolone. Yeah, and then if you still want to add a draw, 25 milligrams per day pre-workout. That's more than enough. That's more than enough. Train hard, eat right. Somebody commented it heavy on those 19 yours. I agree. <laughs> it's a lot of 19 yours, but it depends on how much of each. So a gram of test, 500 deca, 700 train, 50 milligrams of anadrol per day. I think that's overkill. Um, keep it low, keep it simple, guys. You don't need so many uh, PDs uh, stacked on top. And that's not what I do. Test in primo. Uh, that's <laughs> You know, you can get all the results you want as long as you pay attention to your training and your nutrition. Now, your health supplementation, you do your blood work, etc., etc., etc. That should come first, and then your stack comes last. Hope that helps. Hope that answers your question. If anybody else has a question about health while you're using PEDs, look into the private Facebook group. Details down below. If you need a little bit more discretion and want everything privately answered, look into the PPQ service paper question. Consultations are always available, guys. And if you're a full-time bodybuilder and you need a little bit of coaching, contact me with the details and the rates below. Cook all your own meals. I expect you to train balls to the wall and the PEDs come last. That's my philosophy. Blood work before PED advice. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.